Hey, it's Ben here, and here we're gonna have a look at how we can move clips frame by frame or by a specific number of frames really accurately. So we'll do this first with the select tool. So with the select tool here selected, we can highlight a clip, and if we type in plus and five, we're gonna move that clip by five frames. We can also type in minus and say eight, and it's gonna move it by exactly eight frames. Now that's useful with the select tool, we can also use the trim tool in a couple of different ways to do the same thing. So if we select our clip, then it's actually gonna slip that clip. So it's not gonna move the in and out points, it's gonna move the clip within those points. So if we type in plus 12, we're gonna move that clip 12 frames without changing anything else on the timeline. So this is super useful, for instance, if you need to move clips by one frame at a time. So I can just type in plus one and it will move it by one frame ahead. If I type in minus one, it's gonna move it back one frame. So we can have complete control over how we're moving those frames. If I wanna type in a bigger number, then we think about the hours, seconds, minutes, and frames that we have in our time code. So if I type in plus one period five, that's gonna be one second and five frames. So it's gonna move it by that much. And minus one period period, is gonna be minus one minute. And you can see by the red bar on the right-hand side there that I've actually reached the media limit. I couldn't move that clip by a minute. It's uh, not a minute long. So if I undo that and then select it again, and we'll do minus 25, it's gonna slip it by 25 frames. We can do this in a different way with a trim tool. So if I highlight an edit point, I can do plus five, plus five frames. It's gonna move that edit point ahead five frames. So super useful if you're trying to get those accurate points with your beats or something like that and you want to just move things to a certain point on the timeline and you have a good guesstimate of the number of frames that you need to move things by so minus 15 would move this back 15 frames plus one period five would move this ahead one second and five frames and then lastly we have the position tool and we can do the same thing here so if i do plus five it's going to move it by five frames and it's actually going to leave a gap clip here on the left hand side of five frames so if i highlight that you can see that gap clip is five frames. If I delete that, if we select a couple of clips using the position tool, I could type in one period, 15 period. So one minute, 15 seconds and zero frames. Hit enter and it's gonna move it by a minute. So if I just do shift and Z, you can see it's moved those clips down the timeline all the way beyond the end of the timeline and made two gap clips or slugs in that area. So we grab those clips again, we can drag them got snapping turned on, so they're gonna snap right back into that spot there. So Shift and Z again. So basically, with any of these tools, you have different options for selecting and moving those clips by a specific number of frames. So we're running at 30 frames per second here for this edit, so plus one five or minus one five would be plus or minus half a second. And then you've got different iterations of that using the hours, minutes, seconds, and frames to kind of move those clips to different spots. So I hope this is a useful overview of how to use the kind of shortcuts to move clips around more accurately. If you have any questions about this or suggestions of ways in which you do this, then that'd be super useful to, to hear. I'm always open to suggestions for ways in which we can do things differently when we're editing on the timeline. So leave those comments below and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.